avoid this rickshaw driver in, in Bangladesh. Food poisoning, bacteria, no. parasites. This is the coolest girl in Bangladesh, y'all. You told me this is the most famous belt curry. Yes. Thank you, brother. Oh. Right on the back of my throat. Did I do the wrong thing? I'll take a little bite though, because I'm not gonna die. There's no way it's purified. I suspect it's I tap water. No more political posters of like ugly dudes. Is he trying to rip you off? Yeah. Why didn't you guys tell me in the comments that I sound like an idiot when I'm saying these these Bengali words? What up everybody? I hope you're feeling good, feeling great. Assalamu alaikum. I am back in Dhaka. I went all over Bangladesh, but you know I had to come back here to the capital city. We are about to explore Bailey Road. I'm with my hey lovely there. friend, Riza. Can you tell everybody uh, where you're from? I'm from Dhaka, Bangladesh, Bailey Road. I live here. So as um, this is my neighborhood, I thought that I'll give my friend company and make him try all the good places good food places so yeah. true Bangladeshi hospitality so she's like you got to eat some of the famous food on Bailey Road I guess this is the place where the couples hang out yeah people that are dating come here and they go on yeah. dates All the so school teenagers. this is the famous love spot for everyone the famous love spot Ooh, my heart is palpitating already just hearing that so tell us a little bit about this first food we're so, gonna try here yeah this is chalamori chalamori made of puffed rice as you can see kind of like rice krispies yeah okay. puffed rice and um, he's gonna mix some of the um, what do you call it chickpeas a mix of a lot of masala i would say okay so he's so oh it's so he's got the rice and then there's chickpeas somewhere chickpeas it's a blend of it i would say it's a, not you can't really see it a blend okay don't abad Oh wow, and it comes in this There's like a bit of, um, piece of like newspaper almost. It looks like uh, someone wrote an assignment for university was, and this is what they wrapped it in. It's actually from a textbook. Right, it's from a textbook. Yeah, he made it, I guess. <laughs> That's hilarious. Wow. And there's a card Ooh. for you to eat it. With. Okay. Yeah. No spoons here, no plastic spoons. We just get the card. Very okay. environment friendly, y'all. How much, how much does it cost? Um, 20. 20 rupees, yeah. okay. Riza is refusing to let me pay. That true Bangladeshi hospitality, thank you so much. Uh, so 20 rupees uh, for the chow murray, so that's less than 20 cents USD. That might be the cheapest street food we've tried yet. I guess the whole entire street is filled with street food, so we're gonna try a bunch. Am I nervous about trying some Bangladeshi street food? Absolutely. Uh, but Riza is- hope the spice isn't much for you. Oh, the spice, I'm not worried about the spice. The, the spice is the least of my concerns. Oh, you know, maybe some like food poisoning, bacteria, no, parasites, no. anything like that. You, you gotta strengthen your immune system. We're, 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 we're thinking positive. You've also promised me that I, if I get sick, she'll spend every night by my hospital bed. I did not Taking care of me. No. <laughs> that, that's part of the disclaimer in the waiver we're gonna sign here. Okay, well let me, uh, let, let's go straight to it. The chow muri, right? Chow muri. Chow muri. J H A. J H A. Cha. Chal. Chal. Muri. Muri. Yeah. Chal Muri. Okay. okay. Here we go. We're going in for our first. We're going in for our first big spoonful. Wow. Looks good. And looks like there's a lot of green chilies. Yeah. In here as well. God bless okay. you. How? Mmm. Okay. How does okay. it taste? It's just like Rice Krispies if you've had the cereal back home. But the spice ones. The spice is okay. Okay. This is probably too spicy for most like white people, most Americans, but for me, I'm digging it. The rice is kind of soggy, but there's just a little bit of like crispiness in it. So I really, really dig that. Wow, what else do we got here? It looks like there's some other like kind of crispy bits in there. What do you suppose, is, is that just a different color? Of oh, the it's, rice? It's what is chana it? Chul. No. Chana chul. Yeah. So that's like a, a Bangladeshi snack, yeah, right? It is a snack. Okay, I like it. You like it? It's a really, really good snack. I'm impressed. I don't know. I didn't know what to expect. This is sold all over the streets in Bangladesh. I've seen this like 45 times already, but this is my first time trying it. The Jala Murray. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and give this 3.3 rocket chips. I would definitely get it again. So I was asking Riza like, where are all the trash cans? And trash cans just like don't really exist in public too much in no, Bangladesh, no, do they? Truly, really. as you can see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so people just kind of throw their trash on the side of the street. And then does the government come and pick it up? Yeah, the next morning they do. Okay, a little bit of spice still sitting on the tongue. 
Oh, we've got some ice cream. Oh, wow, he's got it like fresh in there. All right, so I would suggest these, you, these are normal. Just like, plain vanilla? Yeah, plain vanilla. We want, I, we I want, want something kind of crazy. I want crazy. to try something crazy, yeah. Uh, here's a mix of mango, vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry here. And he's gonna serve them on this cone over here. Okay. So I want you to try this. All right. What, whatever Raisa says, we try. She's 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 promised me I won't get sick. So, so so where so was that ice cream made by this guy? Like I guess he makes a bunch of ice creams. Yeah, let, let me ask him. I'm very very intrigued. I saw just the open container of ice cream. I was like, mm. okay. So he's pouring. He's taking the uh, purified water. Yes, what, we, what, he's the what we assume is a bottle of purified water and yeah, not not don't reused. Worry, don't and, oh, okay. He wetted, he got the spoon wet. And it's so that's. Easier that way. And that's a so bunch what, of different what's flavors. Your favorite flavor? My favorite flavor? Yeah. Gosh, that's a really. You, you get one too. No, you, I don't Are you sure? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. You sure you don't want one? I don't. Just thank okay. You. What's my favorite flavor of ice cream? There's like a billion flavors. I don't know. I like cheesecake ice cream. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what do we have here? We've got chocolate, mango, strawberry, vanilla. Vanilla, okay. My so first, tell me what your, uh, which one's your favorite. My first taste of Bangladeshi ice cream. What is there a name for this? Is like, we, um, I don't. It's not Kofi, so. right? No, it's a Namaste Kono, Mama. It's just a basic cone ice cream. Oh, just basic. Okay, oh. just a basic ice cream cone, and we gotta hurry up because it's melting like crazy. Pow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Super cool. Refreshing. All the flavors kind of blend together. So I, I'm not really tasting like one distinct flavor, but it's good. It's just like sweet ice cream with like, it's got a very like earthy flavor to it. I don't know how to describe it. But yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, thank you. You, you, are, you are my you are my go-to, you are my ride or die, coming to help me out with the napkins. Angel, this a guardian angel for real. This is the coolest girl in Bangladesh, y'all. Yeah, I'm digging it. A nice sweet treat uh, to cool down with on a hot day like today. I am tasting a little bit of the orange and a little bit of the, the strawberry, but the primary flavor is like vanilla. And there's like some crunchy ice chips in there as well. How much, oh, she didn't even give me a chance to pay. How much is it? It's 60. 60, okay. So just about 50 cents US, USD, two quarters. That's a deal for an ice cream cone. Let's get some of the cone. Mm. It's a crispy, crispy, nice cone. It's got a nice little like mm. sweet flavor to it. And I probably got a bunch of ice cream on my upper lip. Yeah, I would definitely get it again. I'm really tasting that orange flavor. Orange? The or yeah, oh, the I guess then it's orange or is or mango. I guess I could see. Maybe it is mango. I think What's more mango. likely? Uh, let's ask him. Okay, because it's very fruity and like it doesn't taste like true orange. Maybe my mind is just tricking me because it's orange color. Mango. It's mango. Okay, let me. Okay, it, it, it's like a very earthy mango. Earthy mango. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I dig it. Yeah, I'll definitely get that again. Have mango yet? Many mangoes. Yes, but not in ice cream form. We love mango over here. And there were so many like different flavors going on. Okay, like I, so I didn't know what our, to expect. Um, we have national fruit. Do you guys have those like national fruit, national bird? Uh, we have a national bird. Yeah, uh, so every state has its own bird. Right. And then every state kind of has its own food. Um, I'm from Minnesota and our food is casserole. Casserole, right. I I'm guessing you don't know what casserole is. No, I do. I oh, you do? Series, yeah. Do you know what hot dish is? It's like the yeah, same thing. It's like a pizza, right? Uh, yeah, kind of like a pizza without the crust. It's like cheese and a bunch of other stuff thrown in a pan right. and then cooked in the so, oven. As I was saying, our national fruit is jackfruit. You know what that is? They're Katal. huge, yeah. Yeah, Katal. I wonder why. It should have been mango because we all have lots of mangoes. and it's Right? Like, yeah, it's like our favorite food ever. Every hotel I go to, it's a mango juice when you walk yeah. in. There's a mango in the room. It's mango season, that's right. Ah, our okay. Our way of showing love is we send um, huge crates of mangoes over to our relatives or friends. That's our way of sh showing love and sharing love. So when I get back home to America, there'll be a crate of mangoes that you send me? Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give the ice cream. Yeah, this was solid. This was, this was a 3.3 rocket chip ice cream. 
definitely get it again, especially like when it's so hot. Two Bailey Food Street Roads conquered. What are we gonna do for number three? Bell Puri. Bell Puri. So this is the guy. Here we are. You tell me this is the most famous Bell Puri yeah, in salesman in I've all of Bangladesh. Since, I don't know how long, pretty long I would say. And this is the best one in the This area. is the best one, okay. Yeah. So what my man is doing here is he's cutting up the cucumbers yeah. into these really small slices. These and are the shells. The shells, which we've seen in Fuchka before. Yeah, but they're different. These are more flat. But yeah, they're, they're shaped really these differently. These flat. Ooh, okay. Yeah, shape. Is, is it a little more crispy or is it's it the same more, consistency? Yeah, a bit more crispier and a bit more harder, I would say. Mm, okay. Yeah. Really excited. Oh, and he's got, we got some raw onion there that we're cutting up as well. And then, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna guess these are the term papers. These are the projects that the food's gonna be wrapped up in. And then, what is- The semester is over and they go here. And can you tell me what these sauces are that he's gonna put on there? Yeah, those are talk. Those are talk? Do you want um, sweet or spicy? Let's do spicy. Let's, spicy. let's, let's keep it spicy, let's, yeah. Um, so there's like six pieces. Let's try three. Sweet and three spicy. Perfect. Three, three sweet, three spicy. Oh, assalamu alaikum. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Which one? Today. Today. Uh, today, a new video is coming out. Uh, the video is uh, Golshan at night. I go to Dhaka at night uh, and, and find some food. Nice to meet you. Abner and Amki. MD Pavan. MD Pavan. Thank you, brother. Don't know about it. Thanks for saying what up, man. Okay, and here they are, the finished product. Wow, these look really good. So we've got that red onion on there. It looks like we've got the cucumber slices. The cucumber slices. Are those red chilies as well? What's that redness I'm seeing? A bit of red chilies. A bit of red chilies. So the red chilies and the green chilies. All right, my first taste of the bell puri. I'd be lying if I didn't say I was so nervous about waking up in the middle of the night with a crushing stomach ache. But take an up close look at those. Okay, here we go, everybody. How? The first way. Mm. Oh, you went all in. Really good. It's super crunchy. It's way crunchier than the bushka. Mm. This is definitely the spicy one. I oh. feel right in the back of my throat. I dig it though. It's really, really nice. I like it a lot. I think, what's that stuffed with? Like aloo? Like potato? Yeah. yeah. A bit of potato and other stuff. Guni. <laughs> guni. I don't guni? know what the English of guni is. I so think it's, it's blended with, chickpeas again. It's stuffed with potato and other stuff. I, lo I, lo I love other stuff. That's my favorite. Okay. Now I'm. So he's saying like guni and guni. like some dry chilies, some red chilies, some green chilies. Red That's chilies, why it's also spicy. green chilies, potato, and then, do we think this one is sweet? What is it, does it smell sweet to you? I don't know. Okay, a little bite? <laughs> little bite, yeah. Mm. Sweet or spicy? Sweet one? That's good. I really like that. Yeah, it's, got, it's almost got like a pickled flavor to it. Oh, I think they put some achar. The, some, the banglo pickle is achar. Ah, okay, so I had like pickled mangoes before and things like that. These are good. These yeah. are super good. This is one of the best street foods I've had in Bangladesh. Y'all, these are a 4.5 rocket ship snack. I would definitely get these again. These are the best thing you've shown me so far tonight. And now Rice is gonna go in, give us her review. Compare these to the bite. other, other, you took a bad bite. There's no bad bites. Mm -hmm. This Wait. is a sweet one. Did I, did I do the wrong thing and did I, was I supposed to take it all in one bite or was I supposed to just take oh, half a bite? It's your wish. Anyway. My wish. I want the whole thing. I want the whole thing. Yeah, man. It's a, uh, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna let you type it in. It's B R E N T. I've got I've, E N T. This is the sweet one. T I M M. T I M M. Yep. You okay, so you had the sweet one. What did you think of the sweet one? It's less spicy. It's less spicy. Okay, I'll try a bite of the sweet one as well. That's me. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you, brother. All right, going in for a bite of the sweet one. Pow. Mm. Less spicy, right? Or the way same? less spicy. It's nice. It's very like creamy. Yeah. It's way like creamier. What what makes it sweet? Oh, it's the uh, this thing, the talk. The talk. Yeah. Okay. This is a sweet one. I'm way more on team spicy than it's team spicy. sweet, but this was yeah. still good. This is like a, a 3.8 rocket ship street food snack, but the spicy ones. 
I could have eaten like 17 of those in a row. Mega, mega good. And how much were these? 30. So 30 taco, just about 28 cents USD for the bal puri. Nice, you're showing, you're truly showing me the best street food here. This is awesome. So these are Amra. Amra. I googled the English. It says it's golden apple. Golden apple. So I'm actually allergic to apples. Nope. There's confusion. It's Indian hog plum. Indian hot plum? Hog. Hog plum. I'm also allergic to plums. I'll take a little bite though, because I'm not gonna die. Yeah, you're are, are you gonna die. take some? I don't wanna waste it, so. Yeah, okay. Oh, and my man actually it looks like he's got a glove on for cutting here. Alright, my man has the zester out, he's peeling it. Yeah, yeah. Up in our nam key? He can't speak. Oh, he can't speak. Okay. I really appreciate that he's doing something for a living instead of begging in the streets, you know? Yeah, Despite seriously. the fact that he can't talk. So, this is something really I appreciate. There's, I think there's a very like important lesson in that, in that somewhere. Okay, so he's taking this knife and kind of making these indents he's in it. He's making a flower. Oh, a flower, okay. Yeah. So it's going to bloom. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I'm from America, man. Apanar Namki? Nice to meet you, man. Oh, and now he's peeling it back just like that? Yeah, it's a flower. Oh, wow. This looks awesome. Oh, and now he's putting the stem on? Yeah, it's a stick, yeah. Stick. Well, like a stem, like a flower stem, you dig? Because it's flowering? We are taking the littlest bite just because. So he's gonna oh. give some, not spices, I guess salt. Putting some salt on it, okay. Oh, is that some masala? Yeah, we'll put some spice in there, why not? Ooh, okay. Wow. That looks beautiful. Wow, this is like a, a picture perfect piece of art right here. So we're just gonna take a little bite because I don't, yeah, I, I don't have an allergic reaction. How? Oh, oh my God. Mm. What makes it really good is the salt and the spice. I'm loving the salt and the spice. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's sour. It's sour, yeah. It's super tangy. It's kind of like a crunchier cucumber in consistency. It doesn't have like a very sweet flavor to it at all, but I like it. I would definitely get it again. I don't think I'm having an allergic reaction yet. Yeah, it's a 3.5 rocket ship fruit. This is this is really good. The hog pear, hog pear, right? The hog, the hog plum, hog plum. Very nice, thank you. Wait, we're in a we're in a local restaurant, right? Yeah, we, we are in a local restaurant, and we have mirrors all around us. Why are the mirrors all around? Just to check yourself out. Her so How much you sweated after a long shopping trip? <laughs> she's been she's been dabbing herself all day. We're gonna try a little lassi. Let's go in the corner here. We're gonna try a little fresh lassi. So we're having a discussion, not an argument about the ice. She's telling me that the ice is probably purified here. There's no way it's purified. I suspect it's tap water. I just have water. a strong immune system. Nothing happened. Yes, because you are from I've Bangladesh. Had it many times. Even though I'm a seasoned traveler, I'm very worried about food poisoning. Because maybe you're thinking like, oh, you're being a little... That's why I told him to give it less. It's all right. Maybe you're thinking, oh, you're being a sissy about the food. Y'all, for those of you that don't know, I got typhoid in Pakistan. I spent eight days in the hospital. It was the worst time of my life, so I'm permanently scarred when it comes but to street food. that's because you missed the shot. We're cutting that part from the video. No. You can't, can't include that no, part. No, you're not. So, <laughs> I, I had like six different stomach ailments in, in, in Pakistan, so, so here we go. Is this the sweet or the salty lassi? Sweet. Sweet. Okay. How much was this? Um, we don't. We don't know yet. How? Sixty. That's so good. That's so good. Oh my gosh. That is like. Is is lassi considered dessert? Um. It's like my favorite no, sweet treat. It's the best kind of thing. It's a it treat. It's so good. It's a dessert at the same time. And it's healthy without, well, the sour one's a little healthier. Yeah. Salty. So do you call this yogurt or curd? Um, I guess yogurt. Yogurt. And this is only 60 Bangladeshi taka, which is just under 60 cents USD. It's creamy. It's sweet. It's thick. And it's so, so refreshing. 4.8 rocket chips. This is honestly one of the best lassies I've ever had in my life. What is that floating in there? Is there some like stuff? No, no, no. It's old. This is the ice. That's the ice. Yeah. Why is the ice that color? Am I crazy? Best to not think about it. <laughs> Your turn. Okay. Well. Oh, I didn't even notice your silver nails. Nice. Yeah. 
Check this out. This is like the most colorful artistic thing I've seen in Dhaka. Look at that. The city corporation did it. Look at that. It's got all these beautiful like rainbow colors. Wow. That that makes it they they should paint the entire city like that. They should, yeah, instead of putting up posters. Yeah, no more political posters of like ugly dudes. We want to see beautiful artwork, y'all. Is everything okay? What's, is, he, is he is he I'm not liking the vibe here. I'm not liking the vibe. I, I think I think he's trying to charge her more because I was in the, the rickshaw with him. Is he trying to rip you off? No, no. Let, let's just go. Let's just walk. No one's no one's, no one's going to do anything. That's it. Let's go. Let's, Give it him, let's just go. He's, there, he's not going to do anything. Let's go. Take the money, bro. Take the money. Avoid, avoid this rickshaw driver in, in Bangladesh. Stop trying to scam us, bro. Stop trying to scam us. Come on, bro. No scams. It's, it's, it's not worth it, brother. It's not, it's not worth the scam, man. It's not worth the scam. Bangladesh's biggest rickshaw scammer. Assalamu alaikum. Now, like, I don't even know what's what's going on here. This, this would be playing out very differently back in the States. And now we got all these guys coming over here. Assalamu alaikum. Now we got this guy like... Hey, you've seen how I handle the scammer rickshaw drivers in other videos. I just walk away. I don't I don't know what's going on here. Man, my hair's like wind blowing. Alright. Taking the money. I, I, don't, I don't even... I don't want to say anything because I don't want to like interrupt what's going on here. Drive 100, yeah. We've got two options. Sweet coconut or less sweet. I know everyone loves a sweet treat, sweet coconut, but the more funky sour coconut that is way more minerals, way more electrolytes than the one that's uh, super sugary. That's the same for bananas too. I know y'all love sweet ripe bananas, but the ones that are green are actually better for you. These are the less sweet ones. Okay. These are the more sweet ones. Oh, the, the more sweet ones are giant. These are giant. I, I want to do a less sweet one. Less sweet? We've, we've eaten a lot, we've drank a lot of sweet coconuts in the other videos. Kotu taka? Kotu taka? No, no. Why is he shaking his head? I'm asking how much? How much? He doesn't understand. Kotu taka? How does he not understand Kotu taka? Isn't that No, no, he, he's, I guess he's listening to Shotu, but... Shotu means 70, and your accent kind of makes it sound like that. Oh! It's Kotu, Kotu. 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 Kotu Taka. Kotu Taka. Kotu Taka. Shotaka. 70, this guy's shouting 70, okay. They were 100 uh, on Cox's Bazaar, but they were 70 here. Okay, we're gonna do two. Kotu Taka. Why didn't you guys tell me in the comments that I sound like an idiot when I'm saying these, these Bengali words? I, I tried to do my best out here. I was like, why is this guy just shaking his head at me so much? Like, what's, what's going on here? A lot, of, a lot of confusion going out here in these Dhaka streets. Okay, so one coconut is 120. Ooh, he's taking out the big machete to cut it. This man, just a, just an expert with that thing. Wow. Oh, squirt! Oh, and there he goes, pops it open big. He's gonna go ahead and grab me a little fresh straw out of there. Don't know about, thank you. Am I saying that right, don't know about? Yeah. Okay, and now, this is an, yeah, sure, thank you. Dude, dude. Rise is just like the best uh, companion I could ask for, like the coolest girl I've met here in Bangladesh. Thank you so much. Okay, and this is not a sweet one, right? This is kind of like sour? This is the less sweet one. Less sweet, okay, pow. It's really good. The straw was a little dusty. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's certainly not as sweet and just like it's coconut water. It's very smooth. It's so smooth. Not overly sweet, but still a little bit of sweetness in there. I really, really dug it. 
I'm not gonna rate a coconut because most coconuts uh, all kind of taste the same, but I would definitely get it again. Thank you so much. And that's that, everybody. Uh, this is where we're gonna say goodbye. This is where we drift off. This, 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 is, this is where we go separate ways. Yeah. Maybe not. Okay. I wanna give a major special thanks to Raisa. You were, you were so sweet. Thank you for buying me so much stuff. Thank you for showing Thank me around. Thank you for buying me this. Of course. Uh, major shout out to everyone that uh, sold us some food today. Everyone that came up and said they liked my videos and, and wanted a selfie. What did we do today? We had Lassie. We had uh, Hog Plum. We had Belpuri. Belpuri. Chalmuri. Chalmuri. Lassie. Yeah, we didn't already say that. We, we had, had so much. And we're ending off with fresh coconut. Fresh coconut. It was like the perfect day. This was one of my one of my favorite days in, in Bangladesh, seriously. Okay. So thank you for making it um, so special. Really, really appreciate that. <laughs> my name is Brent Tim from Dhaka. And I'm Raisa. And we're saying ciao for now. Bye. You probably don't know that's how I end my videos, but oh, I don't know. ciao for now is how Bye. we end them. Ciao for now. <laughs>